what's up? How y'all doing? It is your boy G20, and we are back finally on our offensive defenseman be a pro series with the Toronto Maple Leafs. And today we are halfway through the season, and you know what that means. That means we're taking a bit of a stats update. Now, first off, first off, we're gonna have a little bit of trouble in the foreseeable future because we have two major injuries. Tavares and Matthews injured. That sucks. That really sucks. Tavares has played every game up to this point, but got injured in the last one. 21 goals, 15 assists in half a season. So he's on pace for another 40 goal season. Just doing John Tavares things. There you go. And we have Austin Matthews, who's missed quite a bit of game. And listen, he, he's on pace for over 40 goals as well if he were to play a full 82 game season. You can't knock Matthews' performance. Let's look at the goaltenders. Our backup giving us a 9-12 save percentage. We were not expecting that out of Aaron Dell, but I will absolutely take it, man. That is a good performance. And as far as Anderson goes, this is where you see that standards mean different things when it comes to you can have better stats than somebody but not be regarded as playing up to your potential. And that's exactly what we got going on with Frederick Anderson. Better save percentage than Aaron Dell, but that's Frederick Anderson. We would like to see that up higher than 913. He does have 25 out of his 31 games played in the W column, though. So you can't really blame him that much for that. And this is why it's going to be it's going to be tough to win games now. Because look at this. Joe Thornton is our first line center. Then it's Kerfoot, Spezza. And Dennis Mulgan. And we have we have Rasmus Sandin slotting in as a forward. That's how bad the injury bug is right now. No bueno. Okay, let's take a look at the statisticals. We have 19 goals. Damn near 40 goal pace from William Nylander. He could finish with in the 40s with a little bit of a hot streak. Joe Thornton, our new number one center for sure. Hmm. He's on pace for, you know what, over 30 assists. Oh, actually, damn, a lot more than 30 assists if you look at his per game pace. But, man, halfway through the season, he's got 16 apples. He's having a really good season. Considering he's only played 27 games, man, that's a lot of points for Joel Thornton. Okay, Mitch Marner, our leading scorer, 19 goals, 30 assists. He's on pace for 60 assists. That's pretty damn good. Hyman, let's go just doing Zach Hyman things up there on the plus-minus chart. Taking a few penalties, but it's all good. Goals and assists everywhere. Zachary on the attackery is real. Alexander Kerfoot is going to be a 20-goal scorer this season. You love to see it. And maybe a 40 assist guy imagine that 60 point 60 point alexander kerfoot i will take it uh Ilya mikhaev's had a good season also look at him with his plus 13 you love to see that pierre angval has been pretty productive he could end up with a little bit of luck and a little bit of a hot streak with a 20 goal season jason spezza has been quiet but i mean ve veteran leadership i guess he didn't take a penalty yet so that's good wayne simmons the wayne train Look at him. He's almost at a 30-goal pace. That He's been awesome for us. Love to see it. Jimmy VC's been there just doing Jimmy VC things. Dennis Mulgan's done jack shit through 26 games. And, I mean, Sandin's only only played six games. So, that's it's not, eh, it's not really his fault if he doesn't get the reps. Now, our boy Morgan Riley, seven goals, 25 assists with a plus 10. I am six goals, 26 assists with a plus 36. So we have pretty much the same exact point totals. Just one of us has it in uh, one more assist and the other has one more goal. So I will take that. Jake Muzzin is back from his injury and he will be slotting in while Maddie and uh, Maddie and Tavares are out. But he's going to be on the second pair reunited with TJ Brody. That's going to be a decent second pair. And our boy Dermot is out there with Justin Hall. Who, man, he's played so well in a real-life NHL. If we could get half of that in the video game, I would be thrilled. Now, that is the Toronto Maple Leafs and our lineup. That is the stats update for this. Let's just take a look at, quickly, who's leading the NHL in things. You know, the top 10 scores. Let's find out. Oh, my goodness. Evgeny Malkin, Sidney Crosby. We have Tyler Sagan in third. And then it's Mitch Marner. That's that's interesting. Petey Kane. McDavid is kind of quiet, relatively, you know, to the top of the league, but still over a point per game, so you can't really knock him. Alex Ovechkin, what's your overall? 93 still for Alex Ovechkin. This is year one. Post is there. McKinnon doing stuff, you know. Okay. Okay. Actually, JT Miller going off. 
Okay. What's your overall, bro? 86. Hey, he's playing really well. Good for you. Good for you, man. Nylander's right there, Stammer. Let's take a look at the rookies. I'm pretty sure, yes, sir, I am leading the rookie circuit in points. You love to see it. I actually have more goals than Lafreniere. Yeah, suck on that, buddy boy. Goaltenders, let's take a look. We have Frederick Anderson is leading in wins, but not really in save percentage. 913 is not that great. However, Carter Hart, 923. That is great, and he's second in wins, so he's definitely the front runner for the Vezina Trophy, and there are some of the other goaltenders. So, Toronto's playing pretty damn well, okay, in all facets of the game. And actually, let's take a quick look at the standings. I think we might be first with this kind of record. We've done a whole lot of winning and not a whole lot of losing, but now we've got some, we got some uh, problems, okay, to say the least, because we are missing our top two centers. Let's see if we can find a way to stay on top of the NHL. We got a little bit of a cushion. So that's not too bad. And we have some games in hand. So our, our hot start might come back to help us out here and stay on top of the NHL. So let's figure this out. Let's we're gonna be listen, we're gonna be outmatched at center for the foreseeable future. At least until one of those two gentlemen come back. That's gonna be our reality, and we're gonna have to make the best that we can out of the situation. Frederick Anderson is gonna be in between the pipes. I'm expecting him to start quite a few games while those two are out. And we have UC Soros with a negative record. And, I mean, that's what happens when you have a 890 save percentage. Not a great goalie against us, but we don't really have anybody down the middle. I mean, Joe Thornton, listen, I love the man. I respect him. Hockey legend. First ballot Hall of Famer. I don't know about number one center in this day and age, okay? It's just not really his time anymore. But here comes Forsberg. We're going to body check him. He's going to skate right through me. Okay, that's fine. I, I hit him. I, I did hit him, but... Rammer said, I don't care. Rammer said, I'm going to I'm gonna give him the puck when I feel like giving him the puck. And this is a terrifying first shift here. That's one thing about Joe is he's going to win a lot of face-offs. So, though we don't have the advantage really once the play starts, we will usually have the puck. And you know what? I tried to make a play right there. It didn't really work. And the Preds are going to get a two-on-one-ish. Freddy's going to stop it, though, because he's a grown-ass man. And here is the glitched-ass Razor's Edge, so we don't really need to care about that. Not a great first shift for the first pair, but that's pretty much going to be our reality for the next couple of games here. Kerfoot's been excellent, though, for, for, for the Leafs, so I, I wouldn't even be that mad if Kerfoot was our first-line center, even though he's technically lower in overall rating. I feel like he's played better than Jill Thornton. Can we go up the ice? Yes, we can. Okay. Can we actually get some offense going, though? That's a nice pass. Here comes Alexander Kerfoot. He's going to try to shield the puck and go to the outside, and it's not going to work. He's going to turn it over, so we're going to have to come back defensively here. And here comes Forsberg. He's going to get hit. Let's go. Give me this. Going to pick this up nicely and go to the middle. Boom. All right, and he has room. He's going to go to the outside for even more room, trying to throw it across desperately, but that was kind of trash. And my poke check is ignored. Again, it bounces right back to a Predator. And it goes on the attack for them. Oh, I, that needs to stop. I need to be picking off some of these. I'm not saying I should grab all of them, but at least some of them. They don't all have to go to the other team when I poke it away. I mean, damn. Let's not chase. Let's not. He ain't scoring from back there. He ain't doing that. He ain't. Okay, he's making that play, though, because literally I was defending one guy and my team decided, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to defend anybody else. I can hear the comments already. Oh, he's not going to score from behind the net. He immediately scores. He didn't score. He made a pass. Okay, if we would have covered the fucking guy, this wouldn't have happened. No bueno. No bueno. This is not looking good, man. We can't even... We Honestly, we haven't controlled any of the... Oh, my God. It is going to be a long time, man, while uh, while Tavares and Matthews are out. It's going gonna, it's gonna to suck. It's really going to suck, and we expected that. Oh my god, he's going to hit the post too. Okay, we made a great play. We made a great play. We're going to give it back to him. And Nylander, once again, this time is going to be stopped. But man, we're not going to get any power play time either, are we? No, we're not. Okay. We're still not allowed to be on the power play. Despite offense being what we do. Okay. Okay. All right. It's fine. Uh, Joe, like I said, you do win face-offs. You win a lot of them. So if you could win it to me, yes, sir. Let me snipe it. Oh, that's... I had the angle, but UC Soros is going to make the stop. Okay. We're going to need to be a little bit more aggressive here because obviously we're down 2 nothing, and, and we do need two goals. But also we are down our best two... Our, our two best players, at least, you know, 
on, on the forward side of things. So we're, we're going to have to get up into the play a little bit more than we would like to to create offense, okay? Because that's just that's just this reality of the situation, okay? We're going to need offense from our defense, even though we haven't really struggled in that department this season. We're just going to need to do more, okay? Riley and I have this responsibility on our shoulder. Now Riley's got the puck. He's doing exactly what I, I was saying two seconds ago. I'm going to make a play, please. Oh, he couldn't finish that. That sucks. That's brutal. We had a play, and, and the, it was right there. Attack him, please, bro. We're down two. We're down two goals. Come on. We got outshot by basically a two-to-one ratio in the first period. We need um, we need to bounce back here. Joe Thornton, he's going to win the faceoff. Little bit of a little bit of a messy face off, but it's all good. We're gonna shoot that from a sharp angle, trying to get a rebound, and it didn't work. All right, you know what? Let's. It's not always about the hook back and pass at the point. All right, we needed to create something here. We're gonna go far. Boom, good play. We intercept that. We're turning it up the ice. Joe Thornton with possession of the puck, please. Okay, he's gonna go down low. I'm gonna jump in here. One timer, nice save by Saros. I didn't really have much of an angle, but it's fine because we recovered the puck. And I am the one back here, even though we create created that offense. It's still about... Yo, Riley! Come on! Why? Why? More like Morgan Wiley. Are you fucking serious? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I'm pressuring the puck handler. He makes the pass, and Riley says, to hell with it. I'm just gonna... Who are you defending, Morgan? I mean, I've been I've been really happy with Riley so far, but that was just awful. That was awful. You can't do that, man. Give me give me this. Okay, gonna go down low back again, and the forwards are gonna turn it over. Okay, this this is this is gonna be awful. Listen, I know we're missing our top two guys offensively, but if if we can't play, if the rest of the team can't play well, then we don't have a shot. I mean, this is the Predators here. This is not a freaking world beater. This is the Predators. We're going to jump into rush to Nylander. To me, I can't believe I didn't score. I can't believe I didn't even hit the net. Man, are we going to get shut out by UC Soros, who's coming into the game with an 890 save percentage? That would be that would be the epitome of sadness, honestly. I don't, I don't think there would be much worse other than losing to a Zamboni driver. But, I mean, it, it is what it is, man. It, it would be right up there. Uh, that's going to be an easy pick for me. And they're all going to gather... All of my teammates right around me, so we had to do that. Joe Thornton has the puck, though, and he's going to turn it over because he's too slow for this nonsense anymore. That's a nice play, though. Please. Oh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, face off. It's going to be one to Morgan Riley. Can we actually move the puck up the ice? Yes, we can. It looks like... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's a good play. Oh, and then Nylander turns it over. Okay, well, at least we, we looked like we were going to do something for a little bit. That's up the middle. There you go. That's what you do. Boom. Good play up the ice as we cause the turnover and lead to a chance the other way. And he's going to be stopped and then hit the post. Okay. Okay. So that's good defense by me turning into offense for the Buds. And we just couldn't capitalize, but I'm not mad at that. Okay. It's going to happen. Sometimes you're not going to score on the opportunity. If we just keep playing like that, though, and we keep getting that kind of chance, it's going to look better. But after 40 minutes of play, we're getting outshot. It's a three-goal deficit. We need to make something happen, so we're going to take chances here in this third period because we have to, quite frankly. Nice play up the ice. Do I have the speed here? I can. I have the dangles. I'm going to stop up. I waited for somebody to give me a passing lane. I didn't really get it, but it does still lead to a chance offensively with a tip out in front, but it's going to be stopped. Unfortunate, but we did get a chance. Okay, let's keep it up. Keep it up. That's two back-to-back -back plays where we get a chance on goal. If we can just do it some more, eventually we'll score, man. Ah, Joe, I needed this. I wanted this puck so bad. Poke it away. Yes, sir. We got it back still. Nice play. Oh, my God. We can't freaking score. We can't do it. We can't score on UC Soros. That is sad. That is true sadness. Okay, we got this. And that's a lane. You're not... You're just going to give me that lane, are you? Oh, nice play. He scores. That's all me. All me. Let's go. Let's freaking go. That's what I do. Create offense from good defense. Nylander just tapping it home. Just finishing it. Okay, so now we're within two. And there's been a sim goal. Oh, of course. Of course, they're going to score immediately. <sighs> all right. All right. I was so excited. I was so excited. I was like, hell yeah. I created a goal. We got one. We're to within two. It's still early in the third period. If we can get one more sort of quick one, we'll be in business. And there you go. We allowed 
another one. So that sucks. That really took the air out of the balloon here. And you know what? Oh, I wanted to crank him. I don't know why I, th I tried to throw that hit. That's on me. It's fine. I'm going to come back and pick it up defensively and draw a penalty, for which I will play zero seconds of the ensuing power play, but it's fine because we knew this was happening. Yeah, and of course, the power play doesn't score. Okay, good play. Go. Go. Nice pass. I got this. I got this. That's a lane. Let's go. Forehand scores off the faceoff. Whoa. They decided to cover everybody in, in the process. Left me a lane to just get in there. And that is my seventh of the season in game 42. So, hey, hey, we're not going to get a 20-goal season, but we're out here, man. We still might mess around and hit 15. That's a pretty damn good season for a defenseman. And let's freaking go just like that. I'm giving the Leafs some hope. Oh, and we have a sim goal. Please don't let him. Again, again, I make something happen. And the Predators immediately come back and score in the sim. That's sad. That's very, that makes me sad. But all right, we're going to poke it away from them. We're going to come back. We're going to cross it over to Morgan Riley, and he kills one of our teammates, unfortunately. Okay, let's uh, let's just... That's a bad pass. That's on me. Okay, I didn't I didn't really feel like I had the lane there. Drop it to me, please. Drop it to me. Yes, sir. I, I like that. Even though I got a weird pivot animation, it's fine. We still have it. Riley with a slap shot. It's going to go wide, and we're going to attack here. We're going to forecheck because we need we need this, these goals to bring us back to even, okay? We're, we're not giving up on this game. Not quite yet. And you know what? If you're going to take the pass away, I'm going to move the puck. I'm going to move it. Oh, let's go! That's a three-point night for the kid. Let's get it. And that is Wayne Simmons on the goal. I just kind of downloaded their game plan. They don't want me to pass it to the forwards. They're just kind of taking all my passing lane options away, so I'm just going to make my own, you know? If you're giving me the opportunity to skate the puck forward, God damn it, I must get the puck forward, all right? That's just kind of the resolution that I made. Okay, let's go. Go up. Go up. Come on. Come on. Let's make something special happen. Okay, we're going to turn it over. We're not going to come back. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. I did what I could, but we're going to take a loss. And it's it might... Might be a little bit of a test here of, uh, of what the Toronto Maple Leafs are made of while Austin and uh, Tavares are out. But we're going to have to wait and see how that plays out, man. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hook your boy up. Post a like button in the face. Ban hell out of it. Comment and subscribe. I'm G20, man. As always, I love you guys. Thank you all so much for your time. And about this bitch. Peace.